Right, so I can't tell you, I can't tell you my name, but um, I'm an African, I'm from East Africa, I'm the second born in a family of six, so big, big family. I currently work in Nottingham and yeah, I work at the university here in Nottingham. I really want to go to Timo, which is a two year program, training on the field, hands on, getting your hands dirty on the field. But because I've never ever done anything like this in my life, I thought, let me start small. So I thought I'll start with a 10 day trip, which is what I've just been to. Then next year do Timo Quest, which is a month and then build on from that and do Timor and then see what the future holds. So um, we went to the north of Africa um, as a cultural educational trip to get to see the country for the first time, meet the people, see the culture, learn the language, eat the food and get some time to relax away from work. You could definitely tell it's a Muslim country. There was number one call for prayer at 5 30 in the morning and other times of the day. There were lots and lots of mosques and how people dressed you knew it was a Muslim country. Yeah, it was very clear. Before even thinking of this trip, I didn't really know much about the Creative Access Nations um, because I'm used to knowing all the missionaries by name, where they're going, all the details. And actually, it was a big eye opener to actually know and learn about the fact that there are people in countries who are not known by face or by name. Um, and what it, I would say the big thing it's done for me is actually give me a chance or God has shown me that there are people out there who we need to pray for who we don't actually know, who we don't see because I think compared to other missionaries who people know where they are, they probably don't get the same air time, they can't really share the life as much so it's a big eye opener to actually just know that there are some people out there who are doing the work who I just call them invisible people. We were fortunate actually to go to somebody's home where he was able just to share a little bit more about the work and basically the way they do their work is people then know they're Christians so that's one fact that they don't really hide but they get to share their lives and through sharing their lives they get to share their love of Jesus and that is how that's how the work happens out there although it is okay to be a Christian it's okay first of all I think they really like the fact that there's a church and people go to church you're not allowed to either convert or they're not interested in you sharing their faith because converting from Islam to Christianity is a big no-no. So that's that's a key issue. Um, and actually, it is quite dangerous, I would say, for, I don't know how to say it, but it is hard for the workers out there because they're constantly being watched, basically. Yeah. And actually, one of the interesting things is, in most places where we were, you could actually see the cities. So you would just be in your room seeing the whole city and you can just feel how dark it is and actually what that made you do, it just, it, it pulled you in to pray and to read the Bible over the city and just to, it's just this darkness that you think it's a beautiful country with beautiful people, but yet it's so dark. I am an African, so I guess I naturally gravitated to the word Africa in the title. But actually, there's another issue that, for me, missionaries are white people. I'm not a white person. So... It's actually taken me a while in my head to even compute that you can take an African to Africa and I'll just expand on that. So a few years ago I had actually signed up to come to this organization to do training and then I suddenly thought why would an African go to Africa? How disappointing for the people out there to get an African missionary. So I chickened out but then I did eventually come. So in my head I don't I can see myself in Africa, but I can't kind of see myself in other countries because I'm still getting my head around the fact that an African can be a missionary in Africa, if that makes any sense. By the grace of God, I would love to do Timor Quest next year, so that'll be 2015, and then hopefully, as I said, Timor, and then come back and decide what to do long term. After going to a Creative Access Nation country and actually feeling totally drawn in, I'm kind of thinking, what God has shown me, what I've seen, how can I not go back? So whatever happened, I would actually like the chance to go back and either confirm it or, or not, but actually, yes. So creative vaccination would be the best choice.